Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And if you're looking for a van that's super comfortable, get on gas, has plenty of room, check out the 2015 Nissan Quest. This is an amazing van. Um, it's ama the comfort and the roominess on the inside is phenomenal. Um, the features, I mean everything. So. Anyways, uh, this one is the, the Platinum uh, trim level, so it's got a lot of features. And uh, this one is in pearl white, and uh, so it is pollen season, so it's hard to keep everything clean. So uh, the white, you'll see a little bit of pollen here on the car. But, um, but you don't have to worry about the pollen when you're driving, because this one does have the micro filter um, for the climate system. So while you're driving, it's going to filter all that stuff out, and you won't have to, if you have any allergies or anything like that, uh, you know, you don't have to be concerned with it while you're driving. So let's check it out. Um, just overall, it does have a sleek look. Um, it, it's not like a, it's kind of, to me it kind of looks like a cross between an SUV and a van, but uh, it's definitely a van. You do have the ability to use the intelligent key, which is this. Um, you can open up the doors on the left and right, the side uh, doors, the sliding doors. You can also open up the the, hat, the the tailgate there and lock and unlock the doors. Or you can just put the key in your pocket and just walk up and push the button and use the vehicle without actually using the key. So it's a pretty handy uh, small key fob. It's very minimal. Um, some of the key fobs on vehicles are huge, but this is sleek and easy to just slip in your pocket or, or your purse or whatever, and um, it's just not really a, uh, a big bulking thing. So, let's go ahead and check it out. It has the 18-inch uh, aluminum wheels here and the four-wheel disc brakes. It does have the, it does have splash guards here. But you can see they're kind of designed in the vehicle, so they don't look too, too uh, you know, truck-like. So I'm going to just use the key to open up this 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 door, just to kind of show you um, how easy it is to open it up. And you can be quite a ways away and open up the door, so people can go ahead and start piling in. And uh, basically, you hold it again, and it closes. And it's fairly quick. Uh, some of the vans I've seen are kind of slow to open and close, so this one, you know, don't leave you waiting too long. Now here in the front, it has the Xenon projector headlights here in the front. As you can see, with fog lights down here, it has the big Nissan badge, and hidden right below the Nissan badge is the little round view camera. This car, this van, has cameras all the way around it. And I'll show you, there's going to put a little demo there at the end of the video to kind of show you more detail driving through the parking lot. Um, at slow speeds, either forward or reverse, you can you can see all the way around this van. And, and you, I mean, it would be near impossible to hit something. But um, it does have, uh, that's a pretty neat feature, the around view camera system that Nissan came out with. Let's see what it looks like. It has the dual pane uh, moon roofs there on the top. Here's one of the cameras here under the, the side mirror. There's the window sticker that lists all the features and you can use the pause button if you'd like to check it out. So I'm going to list some stuff in the description and I'll put a link to their website too so you can get some more information. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just put the key in my pocket for the time being. Uh, you can unlock and lock the door with the intelligent key. As long as you have it on you, you can just push that button. It locks or unlocks the door. So here on the side, um, on the, the passenger side, front door, you can see it has some good storage there at the bottom. Bottle holder. Big, nice, comfortable, soft, very soft uh, armrests. And the soft here on the side. You got your window controls and door lock controls. You also have a premium Bose sound system with like tons of speakers. I forget how many it has, but it has a ton of them. You see on the window sticker how many. But um, you can really jam with the family on this one. 
power seat on the passenger side. You got the perfectly fit uh, mats there. Glove compartment's kind of mediocre small. But you can see how the, the dashboard is kind of contoured around to give you a more, um, I feel less claustrophobic, I guess. It's kind of contoured around that just gives you more space, you know, the, the feeling of more space anyway, even if you don't really have that much space, which you do. And then the seats, it's got the leather, tan leather seats here. It's got the perforations here in the, in the seat here as well. And some side bolsters. It's, you know, pretty good amount of uh, support there. Now, opening up the, the side door on this side, um, you can use the key, or you can just grab the handle like this and just do that number and it'll open up for you. And you can see it does have a big, big plastic step there, so you can step up in there. And then here's the second row uh, seat. You now you can move the seats forward and back. Right now it's all the way back, so you give you an idea of the, the leg room there. And um, it does have a center console with cup holders everywhere. There's some inputs there, the RCA jack inputs for your uh, for your 11-inch uh, widescreen DVD screen, which I'll show you in a few minutes. You do have to; it will kind of automatically fold down. But you got a storage pocket there, and these captain's chairs have the armrest there. If you want to use those on both sides. Now, to get in the third row, you just have to. It's very simple on this one. There's a little thing right here. You lift up and kind of just push the seat forward and then you kind of squeeze through there now you can see it has a step and then a step so you can kind of step right in there and there's the third row here you can see you got cup holders and little pockets in place places to put stuff you've got screens on all the back doors uh, that one's folded down uh, this one's up and you do have them on the big doors as well You got climate control vents up there. You have a moon roof, and your climate control uh, adjustments is there. All right. So closing this door, um, all you would need to do really is just grab this and uh, and just pull it like that. So while you're in there, you could just do that number, and it closes up. does have the privacy glass there in the back of the van and I like the way that the, the glass is kind of looks it kind of has the appearance of seamlessness in the back there's no um, you know it doesn't show like some big separation here which is pretty neat there is a divider there but it just kind of gives you the illusion that there isn't so here in the back you can see um, it's got the platinum badge there on the right. This one does have the, the towing hitch on the back in case you want to pull a small trailer. And it also has a the four pin connector there for your wiring. So opening this up, you can either use the key or just under here, there's a little rubber button um, right there. You push that and it pops open. There's the camera back here. So now that now that, that is up, you've got plenty of headspace to walk right underneath it. And like say if it's raining or something, you can put your groceries in here and you know it kind of gives you a little roof, temporary roof. Got a little light there. A 12 volt socket there. Now you do have the ability to uh, lower these seats. So um, this button right here, you push that button drops that seat down so now you got plenty of cargo space a lot more um, cargo space if you need it and uh, in case you have less passengers and more cargo you can adjust that by having you know one seat down or both seats down that kind of thing and then pulling it back up you can either grab that strap right there pull it up but I don't feel like doing that so I'm just gonna push this button and it lifts right up and you can see that it will um, you do have the ability to kind of lean the seats back. So putting the seats at different um, 
you can have the seat all the way back like that so the third third row passengers can really recline um, and get a really comfortable uh, seating position or you can you know have it more vertical like so all right so under here is a lot more storage space um, this is for I guess small items or whatever uh, there's the um, the wireless headphones in the new in their pack as well as the remote control for the DVD system and those are in there but you can see there's a pretty good amount of room there to put stuff and of course over here too and these panels are removable so in case you just want to take them out and have this whole space open you can do that as well this is the uh, this is for your receiver hitch there Okay. and closing down the the tailgate here you can either use the key like I showed you know like I showed you on the key or you could just push this button and it kind of beeps at you letting you know it's coming down and it'll just go right on down so let me go ahead and get in here I'm just gonna open this up and that front seat is all the way back and I um, just want to make sure this is all the way back you can put it yep that's all the way back so I'm going to kind of get in there and I'm about six feet tall and uh, there's a little bit of room there for my knees with the front seat all the way back so you can see um, you'd have to have a really tall passenger to have the seat like that but um but you know even a person of my size can fit in here it's not super comfortable i don't know if i'd want to spend you know 10 hours in the back seat here um, i mean it's comfortable don't get me wrong but um you know i would prefer to have a pass a driver that's a little bit shorter um <laughs> but but anyways uh here in the back of the seat we've got some like a storage pocket thing and also you got this little hanger here so I guess if you want to hang something there I'm not really sure uh, I think it's maybe for the the wireless headphones possibly but not much room for them now since I'm here and um, so before I continue let me do one more thing this is kind of important the key is in the vehicle so I'm just gonna put it there and um, I'm going to start it up. I'll show you why. Pushing my foot on the brake and then pushing that. Because when I start it up, the screen folds down. So um, I wanted to just show you the size of the screen. It's 11 inch um, wide screen, uh, DVD screen. So when you're playing movies and stuff, this one is a lot better than a lot of the other ones I've seen. So I'm going to go ahead and close this back door by doing this number here, just pushing that. Closes the door. You see, you got a little pocket there, got a bottle holder. Uh, you can roll the window down right to there. You can roll it up. You've got a shade, this in here that lifts up. So that way I can get some more, besides the privacy glass, I can get some more privacy. Or keep the light, the sunlight off of me. Which is a pretty neat feature. Got the cup holders there, got the storage pocket here. Got the DVD. Got a sunroof back here. And I can, like you know, like open it up and stuff. I can shade it. Climate control buttons are back here. And I think this is a speaker there, is what it looks like. I wish I had a DVD to show you on the screen here. Um, to show you, you know, what it looks like. It appears that it pretty much powered down and up. Um, I guess you can't really adjust it. Um, I guess it's designed for a certain angle. Not really sure. So getting out. Um, it does have a little light here too. So getting out, I just, you know, do that. Opens right up. I can get out. Very easy to get in and out of that that second row with that step there. 
it's pretty comfortable. I don't really, you know, feel overly compressed or anything in there, but uh, that's up to you if you just if you want to check it out and see what you see what you think. There's the side mirrors. All right, here's the driver's door um, next to the whole cockpit there. And you've got your big old storage pocket, bottle holder there, uh, power windows for the front and back. The back you'd actually have to hold. You have to hold down in the, you know, to where you want it and then lift up. But the, the front ones are automatic, so you're just gonna push it down like that and it'll go all the way down. And uh, same thing on that passenger side. Um, and then you can just lift it up and you have to kind of, you know, you can fine tune it. Like say you just barely touch it, it'll do that. But uh, if you push it all the way, it will, um, it will, you know, go all the way up or all the way down. Really convenient. Um, I use mine all the time, that power setting. Side mirror controls here. You can just set it to the left or right and it's like a little joystick and you can adjust the mirrors. There's, you can um, preset your seats, your power seat to a certain position. There's your controls. It does have the lumbar support and the power, you know, back and the and the front there. This is for your side doors to open them and close them um, while you're sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, you also have the ability to, um, you know, turn your blind spot monitoring on or off there. Um, tailgate you can open that up traction control is default on you can turn it off here and uh, not sure what this is all about here this this different setting there not really sure what the, I, guess, I guess you can what it looks like to me please correct me if I'm wrong but it looks like you can adjust the angle of the the projector headlight up or down so you're not blinding the people that would be a really neat feature if that's what it is. Please let me know. Um, it's during the day, so I can't really try it out. Power door, you can turn those off if you got kids in the back. You don't want them opening up the door. There's where you open up your fuel door. And then there's your hood. Driver's seat, plenty of room. Very comfortable. I mean, if you're the driver, you got it made. I mean, this is uh, I mean, this is probably one of the most comfortable, open driver's seat in a van that I've ever sat in. The seat's comfortable, just the overall feel of it. Steering wheel, it is a tan-colored steering wheel uh, that matches the rest of the vehicle. Thanks, Nissan, for doing that. Cruise controls on this side. And then you've got your, your volume for the radio, back button for the screen there, um, your source, which is say your um, AM, FM, or satellite radio. So I'm going to turn the volume down. And uh, you can you know can go through menu systems with this button here. This is your for your Bluetooth phone. Once you pair a phone with the system, you can... Uh, you know push that button and make and receive calls there. You can also talk to the van and tell it You know like call a certain person uh, you can also say um, You know go to a specific address in the navigation or tune to a certain station that kind of stuff There's a little bit of learning which commands you can use But uh, it's really handy to keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road once you learn how to use it source uh, like I showed you that's you know changing through the stations there and Go ahead and go up here. Here's the the gauges. It says 160. <laughs> so I guess it's like a sports car van or something. But uh, I don't know if that's actually uh, going to go up to 160. But it, that's what it shows. It shows the I've got the range showing right there. Um, you can change that with this button here. You can kind of cycle through different you know views. So but the range is really handy. On this side, you've got your um, your dimmer switch. So you can dim the lights, or um, you know, dim them or make them brighter with those buttons there. On the gauges, uh, you can reset your trip here. So it, you know, it has a lot of cool features around the steering wheel too. 
course you got your headlights there washer washers and wipers on that side all right I showed you how to start it um, basically you just put your foot on the brake push that start button four-way flashers are here so this is an 8 inch screen and it has a lot of functionality here um, you know it is a uh, let me go ahead and kind of show you something it is a let's see here it is a touch screen so you can go in and out of stuff but I'm gonna hit the map button here so you can see what the map looks like it's really clear and easy to read you can hit the destination button here and you can put in a specific address um, if you have one saved you can you know use that as well there is a back button here and there's also one on the steering wheel like I showed you I can change the route so a specific uh, void tolls or something like that um, I can get different information here the fuel economy and maintenance where am I I like that that kind of stuff um, status this is kind of showing you what what you know kind of what you're doing uh, as a split screen there your radio and then if you have like a route going on or something your settings will be over here you can change your navigation settings Bluetooth settings um, display and all that stuff this one you can adjust your your night screen uh, brightness pushing the map button like I showed you shows the map um, but pushing this camera button this shows you a round view camera which is awesome and I'm gonna put a little uh, demo there at the the end of this video just driving through the parking lot and um, as you can see it has um, basically a view from the back there actually that's that's the uh, the front I'm sorry this is the front in front of the car and on the right side here this is all the way around the vehicle it looks like there's a camera 50 feet in the air um, looking down um, the, the van itself is a simulated uh, simulated uh, van but all around it there's actually a live um, camera and you can see that camera that flag waving there and um, so sometimes that'll trigger you know to beep or something to let you know that something's moving over there like somebody walking or whatever and you can see on the corners it doesn't exactly line up but it's very close and when you put it in reverse it switches the camera to the back of the vehicle so that's really handy and this will um, this around view system will work when you're going I think it's under six miles per hour and uh, very awesome um, it's really a good way of avoiding hitting stuff now you you know still want to look out the windows and look at your mirrors and all that stuff too but this just gives you another level of um, of safety when you're you know moving slowly through a parking lot see right now there's people uh, walking by and it's gonna kind of alert me that they're walking by and you can see them that's pretty cool isn't it some of the cameras are a little bit distorted, but you know, kind of gives you, a, you know, it showed us that they were walking by, it actually beat at us and alerted us. So pretty cool feature. Shifter is here on the dash, kind of, not on the dash, but it's kind of here in the center stack here. And the reason for that is because, um, you know, to kind of give you all this extra space. If you had like a shifter down here or something, or on the column, it kind of gets in the way. So this kind of kind of solves that problem by putting the shifter right here it's kind of not in the way really and you can actually kind of rest your hand on it while you're pushing the buttons I, I think it's a really good spot and of course you can put it in reverse neutral drive it also has a, a low setting this one does have the CVT transmission so um, it does have a you know variable gear ratios to match any driving conditions but if you're going down a steep grade hill or something like that um, you can put it in the L mode here low and it'll tell the transmission that you need some uh, you need some engine braking there to uh, keep you from you know going down too fast or if you're you know struggling up a hill or something like that I guess you can use that there um, just to kind of you know just kind of you're just letting the, the car know that you just kind of need some some lower gear ratios there here's your climate control um, basically recirculate your air um, here in the front you can have it auto if you want front and rear defrosters your temperatures now this is a try what they call a tri-zone temperature control both front 
driver and passenger separate then you have a rear separate from that so your your driver and passenger um, you can you know, kind of sync them together uh, by having what they call dual uh, so you can have it like that dual sorry it's kind of the opposite uh, when you push dual then that means you can adjust them independently when you turn dual off then they're synced so it's a little bit different from other manufacturers mode basically cycles through where you want the air to blow so that's what mode does and then your fan speed is there you can just turn on auto and just set the temperature and roll with it if you want so here's your radio control here uh, AM FM satellite radio uh, your CD player you can play music off of that or auxiliary inputs uh, you can turn through stations you can there's your volume there as well as the steering wheel heated steering heated seats are here for the driver and passenger and uh, there is a power supply um, 110 volt power supply somewhere in this vehicle oh yeah and I see it I'll show you. it's right here it's just a, a two-prong there so you can plug out something like a laptop or whatever and charge it uh, you can turn that on if you need to um, you know default is off you want to leave it off when you're not using it these little things pop out and give you extra cup holders um, which is pretty neat there's your where's your CD goes in right there there's cup holders and this is the place to where I found to put my cell phone and um, like that now it kinda if I put it in like that it's kinda hard to get out um, but it is a, a good place I guess you could put my phone's a little bit big so like if you had a smaller cell phone you can um, I guess two of them side by side or something don't really fit in the cup holders so I guess that's about the only place that I found in this vehicle that's convenient for me to put my phone. And then of course you've got a USB port here where you can play music off of and there's that, that 110 volt plug there. Up here is a auto dim rear view mirror and you can turn that feature on and off there on the on the the mirror also you have the home link system for your garage door opener if you want to use that here's a place to put your shades in there um, you can turn uh, the lights on here uh, you can have it in the center just for the doors when you open up the doors will come on or you can just turn them off completely now this is for your this but these buttons here for your um, your moon roof here and it seems like um, it seems like all it does is tilt and you can you know tilt the one in the back as well up here if you want but uh, it's just like a no if you hold it it goes all the way back I'm sorry it goes back like that if you just push it then it bends all right you got a visor with a light and a mirror there same thing on the other side all right let's take a look underneath the hood before we do that let's just kind of see what it looks like back there you know what would be nice in this van um, that I don't see and that is a conversation mirror or actually since it's a Nissan they might have a conversation camera right there so you can push a button and see what's going on in the back seats right now you're kind of limited to your uh, rear view mirror there but um, anyway that's just a little suggestion let's take a look under the hood now this one's got the, the 3.5 liter V6 which Nissan puts in a lot of vehicles and the uh, the CVT transmission like I said everything's pretty much covered up in plastic but you can kind of get an idea of what it's all about it does have the electric power steering to where um, so you don't have to it has a really smooth um, uh, power steering system especially at low speeds 
at high speeds it kind of backs off to where you can get a little bit more feel on the um, of the road. Hood's a little bit heavy for one-handed operation, but um, you're not normally going in looking underneath the hood that much anyway. All right, 2015 Nissan Quest. Now, if you have any questions or comments or clarifications, uh, anything that I missed or got wrong, please leave it in the comments. And um, and also, I'm going to put uh, Victor's phone number in the description. He is uh, he is an awesome guy that works here. Um, he'll really hook you up with whatever you want. He's a he's not a pushy salesperson type person. Um, he's very very knowledgeable in Nissan. He's been in, in with Nissan for I think over 15 years. So um, you know if you're in happen to be going to Myrtle Beach area, if you're in the Myrtle Beach area, uh, or pretty much anywhere in the country, and you're thinking about getting a Nissan, thinking about buying any vehicle, just give him a call. Um, kind of you know describe what you're, you're looking for and see if there's any way he can help you in any way I'm sure he'd be glad to do it phone number for him and his email his phone number and email address will be in the description and thanks for watching see you next time